Good morning, YouTube. It's Gatlin here from Carphonics and Damien. <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's a lovely Tuesday morning. And uh, as per usual lately, it seems to be that uh, it's raining outside. Good old rain. You know what? It doesn't really hurt anybody, I suppose. Except for when I'm going to the grocery store and it's piss pouring outside and everyone's huddling by the front door and I'm like running from my truck trying to get inside. And they're all like, oh, well, it's raining and we're all going to die. And I'm like, Get out of my way! Anyways, <sighs> I'm out of breath from that one. What's that? No grocery shopping for this cat. Yeah, no grocery shopping for this cat. I I just kind of help up my wife once in a while and you know grab some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that video from yesterday. I uh, touched up uh, Shifty here and got some of the shit done underneath the hood, and uh, now I can kind of start wiring up everything that uh, needs to be wired up a couple little final touches on this side of the engine bay like i mentioned to you yesterday uh before we go forward on this thing just get this thing all finished up and it'll be really nice once it's all said and done so uh, i got a couple of clips inside my hand here as you can see a couple of little clips uh, i don't think that the uh, wiring loom on the floor was clipped down before uh either that or maybe chris Removed it. Oh, it looks like he did remove it here, eh? Okay, that makes sense now. That makes sense because obviously he didn't want to paint these, but uh, I'm going to replace these uh, shitty clips with these ones here instead. These are just little push pin clips there. We'll stick one there and we'll go ahead and stick another one right here. And uh, these usually need like a little rubber mallet to get uh, slapped down, so I'll go ahead and do that. More of a permanent way of doing things. This, yesterday, got a set of uh, front door speakers done on it. Uh, these are pretty common for getting uh, front door speakers uh, screwed up on them. They are, uh, like they have a factory infinity sound system on them. And uh, don't ask me why, but I've replaced a thousand sets of those speakers on those uh, Hyundai Santa Fe's. Sorry, just grabbing a Robert Amalette. And um, basically, yeah, you got to replace them in pairs. You can't replace them uh, singularly. Uh, you have to do it in pairs. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and uh, tap these suckers down in there. Okay, this isn't working out as well as I thought it was going to. So uh, we're going to go ahead and probably put the factory clips back in, screwing around. God, I just thought I would do something better than factory here, and it just didn't quite work out in my favor. So we're going to go ahead and one-handedly take this out of here. Hang on. Okay, they're back now. Boom, boom. So that's all good there. Uh, I'm going to grab a bunch of Dynamat at some point if I have a time today to, uh, you know, cover all this area up. Uh, we'll replace all these things once all the Dynamat's back on there. But check this out, guys. Chris dropped off this uh, switch panel yesterday that he made for the uh, center console. And uh, we got a bank of what looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 switches in total. And uh, yeah, so this thing's going to end up going somewhere on the center console uh, like a zat. And uh, that'll give us the ability, you know, flick on, you know, front lights, you know, rear lights, boom, turn on the uh, pump for the uh, center, uh, boom, you know, turn on, you know, exterior lights, all sorts of fun stuff's going to be on these. So uh, that's kind of cool. You want to shut them off, you just do that kind of thing. So that is slick as F. And uh, I just wanted to make sure that this thing still runs from yesterday. So we're going to go ahead and test a route this. I'll pass the camera to Damien. Ah! And uh, let's see if this thing. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, runs real good, guys. So we'll check this thing out. Subscribe to Carphonics Pictures. Carphonics rattles my rear end. You heard him, guys. You heard him. I didn't say it. Carphonics, better subscribe. Make sure you hit that slam that freaking subscribe button, guys. So, it looks like this morning we've got uh, a little stereo to do in that. GMC Safari van there. I think we're doing a deck and four. 
Deccan 2. A Deccan 2 speakers, guys. And uh, I'm looking to upgrade some wheels on this thing. Looking to upgrade some wheels on this thing, guys. Uh, another thing I wanted to touch base on really quickly is uh, I appreciate you guys sending me emails and sending me inquiries on my uh, website. That's really, really, really awesome. I don't often have an opportunity to check the emails from the website. Uh, and if you're replying from somewhere outside of Canada and uh, you're just inquiring to get some information, uh, try to maybe keep that on the YouTube channel because I try to keep that for actual business. Not that I don't appreciate you guys emailing me because I do, but, uh, you know, paying customers come first, guys. So I appreciate you guys inquiring and texting and emailing and all that stuff. And I uh, had another guy try to email, transfer me some money. And uh, I appreciate that as well. If you want to email me, it's carphonics at gmail.com. But uh, my conscience says to me that I shouldn't be taking money from my YouTube guys. And I didn't, so I ended up uh, messaging them back and saying, hey, would you mind just, uh, you know, maybe sending me a letter and some caramels. I want some caramels. Chris comes by and eats them all the freaking time, so I don't have any left in my jar. You know, when I do buy them, you know, some, some of his friends come by and, you know, are like, hey guys, you know, whatever, we need caramels. They're gone. No caramels left. Anyhow, so uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, sorry, that was really awkward. <laughs> Walk inside the showroom, there's a bunch of customers and I'm talking about caramels. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this uh, jam, a uh, van, Whew. and uh, we'll go from there, guys. See you soon. All right, so we got this work van here and uh, all you're really going to need to take apart the dash is this Atenamili on a drilly here, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started on that. Oh, I need some hair around there. They're so tight. So an astronomical amount of clips and clippity clippities and plugs and the thing will come apart. Some patience because this uh, steering column actually doesn't move up and down. So you have to like throw this thing all the way down and then wiggle the whole panel out of its way. So now we're working on it. So this is what's up. We're going to do a uh, KW R920 BTS with Bluetooth, JVC, set of Kenwood speakers up front. We can do the data retention harness, a proper dash kit, proper antenna adapter, and then we got some speaker adapters here and speaker adapter plugs. Got ourselves a factory speaker here, and uh, it looks as though we don't really even need to use um, speaker adapter, not the plugs, but the actual adapters themselves. Look at that. Let's go pipe. Go ahead and unbox this thing here. So you get a set of screws, you get a uh, Bluetooth mic, a harness, and a remote control. All right. And this pops out of here like that. These will be will go in the garbage. This will pop out of here. I'll take this thing off of there, real nice. Go ahead and install this sucker into the dash kit, which will usually go like that. As you can see, look real nice in the dash there. I'll pop that in there and get back at you.
All right. Antenna adapter. All right, so we're gonna clamp this baby into the factory side here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, then we'll put the deck inside the hole. Season opener sale in Woodstock or join Virgin Radio on location this Saturday from nine to one at Pioneer Pools on Blue Heron Drive in London. Loves Toyota's red tag days. Get into a new 2017 Corolla CE with advanced safety features like lane departure alert and pre-collision system all standard. All right, so another one kicks the bucket here. Make sure you get a good tune on here. Okay, everything sounds good. Everything's all back together nicely. And uh, we're on to the next one, guys. So uh, Craig has finally got this thing uh, out from its little resting area. And uh, I'm gonna take this thing for a spin, guys, with Craig in the car. He's gonna talk about this thing. And uh, we're gonna see what's up with it. Hopefully, I fit my fat ass into this thing. Let's see, guys. Okay, we're in. All right. <laughs> Is this thing recording? Can you tell? Uh, how do you tell? Yeah, there's a red. All right, we're recording, guys. Did you even get that door shut? I'm gonna try. <laughs> this thing is hilarious. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna shift for you, okay? Okay. okay. So, reverse. Okay, reverse. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna go around the parking lot. That's all we're gonna do, guys. This the, the stick shift is now under your thigh. Just so they know that. <laughs> this thing's hilarious. Hey, clutch. Clutch. Oh, we're first over there now. Okay, we're first over there. <laughs> this thing is hilarious, guys. It's amazing. It actually drives pretty good. These are actually a lot of fun to drive. Yeah. Um, because they're so low and so much uh, feedback from the road that they're really go-karty. Oh, they are really go-karty, eh? Yeah. Wow, this thing's so neat. I can't believe I fit my fat ass into this thing, Craig. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the heat works well, that's for sure. Yeah. Typical old school needle freaking flying around here. All right, let's go around the block, guys, one time. It's one time around the block. God, you can't shift into third though, can you? Don't do first when it's rolling. Oh, it's not like a... Can't... Synchros might not be. Okay. 
All right, guys, waiting for traffic here. Oh, All right. Let's okay. Yeah, she's in first. <laughs> this thing's hilarious. So cool. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll just keep her in third here. Yeah, it's only a four speed. Okay, so one more down is four. Just straight down and be four, so that's the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is get, hilarious. Get this corner, if you like, don't even bother braking, just corner. And Up here? Yeah. yeah. This thing drives so nice. Cornering is where they're really fun. I would have never suspected that this thing would drive quite this nice. Well, it's a lot more modern than the minis that were sold here. And turn signals. Whoa. Yeah, they're not JDM. That's weird. Yeah, that's that always throws me in the mini. Okay, so don't uh, break too too much. Clutch though. I wow, this the thing cash. handles, man. I <laughs> We're gonna throw her into right into second. Second. There we go. Wow, this thing handles. That's yeah. nuts. That could be a cop, right? Oh, it's not a cop. No? Yeah, trailer hitch on it. Uh, they pull jet skis and stuff now, don't they? I guess so. We'll try and save some of the clutch, eh? Yes. Yeah. For yeah. me. Yes. Yeah. For you. <laughs> save some. And we are turn signal and second. Dude, we didn't put the bonnet down. We didn't? No, I can see it bouncing. Uh oh. Let me get that. Okay, bonnet's back down. Four ways off. I will never do this again. <laughs> I will never do this again. You don't like it? I like it, but I'm far too fat and big for this thing. Yeah, so the seat can be adjusted back, but you have to like unbolt it. Yeah. And, like redo the, the rehinge the rails. This thing is so neat, Craig. Yeah. And wipers. Check those things They're out. They're a little good. slow. <laughs> Gonna lethargic. Yeah. <laughs> it's got some kind of cool mount here for GoPro. Is that a GoPro mount? Yeah, it's a GoPro mount. Okay, I must cool. have done vlogs. Well, who wouldn't want to do vlogs in this thing? No first until stop. And turn signal. It's a very nostalgic feeling. Nostalgic? Yeah. Are you, is it? Yeah. Jesus. I'm never doing this again. I'm never going to do this again. I learned my lesson, Craig. Gatlin does not fit into a Mini. I'm just going to wait until we go. Yeah. Okay. Are you clutching? Yeah. All right, just put the key Yeah. <laughs> and turn signal. Okay, just clutch? Wait. Yeah. No, oh, you're not stopped. First. Okay, first. Craig's now doing the shifts for me. Gonna have to edit Second. That's kind of like an automatic. Third? Nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't eat that. Yeah. Second. First? Yeah. Nope. Oh, we were green. You're new. What's the matter? You're so used to <laughs> automatics, eh? Oh no, I could drive stick, but it's my leg wasn't in the way. It wasn't inside your knee. Yeah, it wasn't in my knee, pussy. <laughs> I was in the armpit. Oh gosh. Yeah, my knee pit. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Okay. Okay, so I learned my lesson, guys. I definitely will not be getting myself into this car at all. A guy like Craig fits in there just like a glove. A guy like me, not so much. You know, we probably could have put this back a bit more. You think? I don't know. No, that's all she that's, wrote. That's all she wrote, eh? See, it can go one bolt one bolt back. Yeah. Oh, I see. But uh, that doesn't do a whole lot. That doesn't do a whole lot. So, uh, yeah, Mini, not meant for a guy like me, but uh, thanks for the uh, opportunity to drive right it, Craig. Appreciate it. All right. So it looks like uh, Damien is uh, working away here on his magic on that center console. 
got it uh, mostly modified and back in place here. What's the plan, Dame? Well, I'm just going to take some measurements. Take some measurements. Put the seat all the way back. And <clears throat> I'm going to just try and see how far this way we can go. Yeah. It's going to be the same on the other side. Just kind of figure out where the shifter is going to go and accordance to everything else. And just kind of see how high I need to build it. Sweet. Sweet. Let's take a look at this thing from the other side. All right, let's check this out. Right on. So that's uh, the modified bottom bracket plate. Uh, we removed a bunch of the other bracketries there. He's got this thing bolted back on. And uh, now we're going to start uh, actually building up our center console. And uh, yeah, things should look pretty slick. Once the center console's in there, this little switch panel is going to be basically somewhere in around this area. We'll make sure that the uh, shift knob, you know, obviously doesn't hit it in any regard, right? So that's going to be pretty slick. Right on. All right, guys. So I think that uh, we got a bunch of other stuff going on today. And uh, given the fact that it is quite busy here today, I am actually going to call this video done for the day. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some more work done on Shifty. So make sure you guys uh, thumbs up and subscribe for that. I really appreciate you guys subscribing, liking the crap out of this video. And if you have an opportunity uh, to hit that little bell so you get uh, notifications when I make new videos, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Carphonics, signing out. And in case I don't see ya, good morning, good evening, and good night.